Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Grounds. When we last left off, we crushed uh, Lorenzo, I believe his name was, uh, which was quite, <laughs> which was quite funny. The crawling, crippled man that was um, trying to do bad stuff to us. Uh, never really had a chance to be. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> oh dear. It was almost unfair, wasn't it? Right, anyway, let's continue, because we've got the soul key, which is good. And there's a soul door back here, so let's go and have a little look through here. Whilst I take a sip of tea, the first cup of tea I've made myself in over a decade. And it tastes, well, oh, that's not coffee, is it? Um, anyway, uh, right, let's use the soul key. And go through. I used to drink a lot of tea. It was almost 50-50. There's a lot of like people, uh, bodies and torsos and stuff, stuck in the floors and ceiling. Um, are they su supposed to be like, is, are they real people, like failed experiments or what? I don't know. Ooh, there's literally ass cheeks. That's ass cheeks on the wall. There is actual ass cheeks on the wall, and I'm absolutely taking a screenshot of that. I mean, why not, I guess. Right, so what have we got here? Huh? What's this? You've got the mystery sketch. Uh, looks like some kind of map, so. The House of Truth, eh? The House of Truth. Well, okay. Yeah, not a huge fan of the map system in this game. It's kind of lame. The closet seems strangely warped at the sides. Yeah, is that not by design? Okay. Various bobbles used for experimenta uh, experimental purposes. Some notebooks have been stacked here. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we can't do anything. Can you find anything for us, Huey? So you can have a little look around. Something is written here. Fortis. Strength mean strengthens body for a limited amount of time. Fortis. This medicine's effects are explained as well. Right, okay. So that's one of the things that we can make, I think. Ooh, Veroid medallion. Cool. Well, there seems to be sweet FA here, apart from ass cheeks. So what's this? One book stands out from the others. It has no title. Ooh. The great earthen one, born in the image of a man, granted an ever so transient life. Salato. It's... Oh, this is... Right, so this has got to be the, um... About the golems, I suppose. It is the great meth known to the common world as death. It is the great emeth known to the commoners as truth. Pledge your loyalty to these words, for they are absolute. Not that it should surprise me, but this book makes no sense. Well, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. Um, I guess they're commands that we can give to the... Golems, I suppose. So, I don't know if we tried using that other phrase. Maybe we should. Although, I, I don't think I'll... I don't know. I can't see an, another reason to play this one on camera, but maybe I'll play it again one day for myself. Um, right. So, let's get out of here and go find... Come on, Huey. Yes, you slacking boy. So, back through here. Oh, yeah, this is where we squished the crawling man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's never going to get old, that. <laughs> right, let's uh, <laughs> drop a save. <laughs> I mean, uh, a horror game, apparently. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> this is way funnier than it should be. Right, so let's try this door. Oh, maybe not. The door is locked from the other side. Well, that makes our, our job significantly easier, <laughs> I suppose. Oh. It's not that funny. Oh. Oh, you've been 
very naughty, um, Fiona. You are causing me much grief. Well, that's interesting. Maybe we didn't squish him hard enough. I can see you clearly from here, Fiona. Oh, that's ominous. Is he hiding in the closet? Nope, I guess not. But we are. That he he can see us. Do you really think you can hide from me there? <laughs> well, I mean, it was worth a shot, wasn't it? How's your back feel, by the way? Oh, how I love the Azoths. Yeah, well, my Azoth, so hands off, me laddo. Right, um, nope. And we don't have Huey, which is a bit unfortunate. You simply cannot understand. I like the way the candle kind of jibs around when we run past it. As if we're moving the air. I like that. That's cool. I can't understand. Can I? Okay. <laughs> Looks like a dead end here. How unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that. Oh. <laughs> that was a close one, eh, Fiona? Are you, like, dead or something? No need to get so upset, my dear. How do we... That's it. Can we do the... No, so we can't smash it down. Um, okay, this is different. What are you doing, Fiona? Just where do you intend to run? Well, I intend to maybe flatten your spine out again. Maybe we fixed his spine. Everything I do is for the great truth. Yeah, cool story, dude. Um... So is there anything we can do with this? No. So we're literally stuck in here, apparently. At last, you are mine, Fiona. Uh. Okay. Um. Can we go in here now? Now that the door's shut. Okay, so this guy is literally just like perving on us from somewhere. There has to be some kind of hidden sun. Oh, no! I will have you in grasp soon enough. Yeah, so you say. So there's nothing there. Uh, do we open this again? And now is it just? Nope. Right, well, I'm stumped. Can we put the candle out? I guess probably not. Huey. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Right, well, okay. I will have you in grasp soon enough. Oh, right. Come to me, Fiona. Come to me, Fiona. Come to him? I'd rather not, if that's all the same. Does like remotely locking doors. Belly once said, the most valuable thing in this world is the great truth. Human beings, human life, they are not capable of grasping this truth. We cannot merely sit idle and await the future. We must dedicate our lives to the realization of the truth. Yeah, this guy is pretty fucking creepy. Ooh, is this room different? We've got some lavender, so cool, I guess. 
And we'll drop a save, because why not? So we're in the hot lobby. House of Truth, eh? So, this... I'm confused. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, right, let's go and have a little chin wag, shall we? to convert it into power. We can live forever. Your Azoth Fiona belongs to me. Things have a stroke. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Turned into a chad. Come to me, Fiona. I will now extract the Azoth latent in you in order to realize the everlasting life of Oriolus. <laughs> Wait, so he... Oh, fuck. Hello. So he's talking about extracting it. I wonder... Well, so laughing kind of just does that. Can we just kick this guy in the balls? Kind of, until he collapses over. Oh, he's got spells? I mean, I suppose I shouldn't be that surprised. So this guy literally turns into Chad Thundercock in front of us. Um, now, he's talking about extracting our Azoth. I mean, does... So maybe he's not talking about... Um, the other thing. So, I mean, like... Okay, like, if Fiona doesn't care about it, and if she will survive this... Um... Uh, is that the... Completely restores lost stamina. That's no good. Mundus. Restores panic by a small bit. Let's get a couple of those. So, like... Oh, dear. Okay, that doesn't really do as much as I thought it would. Whoa. That was interesting. I wonder if... Maybe we can't actually take Sky out. Yeah, so does she really need this as off if it doesn't bother her that much? I wonder if, um... Yeah, if there's a painless, non-lethal way of taking it, just take it, mate, and fuck off. And let me out of this madhouse. Because I'm just going to sit here and kick you in your, your, your blue balls. Which doesn't appear to be doing a whole hell of a lot, I'll be honest. But I am kind of curious if we can take this guy out. I would say Ricardo was so far the most dangerous stalker. But I'm not really sure why he's transformed into such a chad. Because I thought he needed Azoth. Oh, did you just have a little bit of a fall down, mate? That was terrible. Just sitting here, getting kicked in the nuts repeatedly. Just Rochambeau this guy till he falls down. Oh, Huey's somehow back, even though there's lots of locked doors. I wonder if he's going to drop something for us. Hey, dude, I can do this all day, yeah? So, either you can, like, sit down and chill the fuck out. 
So I'm guessing. Yeah, see, like two of those heals you enough. So if you just sit down and let me uh, take your valuables, this pain will go away. Oh, maybe he's one of those guys that likes it. I get that feeling from him, to be honest. <laughs> just gonna repeatedly kick him. <laughs> Dude, seriously, I could do this all day, so you might as well just drop to your knees and beg for forgiveness. Maybe we should take his ass off, because he's obviously got something in there that can regress his age. But then I don't suppose Fiona wants to regress her age too much. There we go. There you go, buddy. Okay, so he goes down to his knees, but... I, oh god, I guess we can't actually do much to him. Um, okay, let's go. The store's open now, which is nice. Hey Huey, wait, where the... F where the hell are we now? This place... This place isn't making much sense, Huey. We might have to... Get rid of this guy once and for all. Oh, hi. What? Wait. He can teleport? Okay. That's not fair. Well, I was saying that Ricardo um, was turning himself invisible, which. I don't know. I don't think that's as bad as teleporting. Teleporting is kind of a extremely dick move. Um. Oh. Huey, get him. Get him! Tear him a new arsehole. Or something. I was wondering if we were just running around in circles there for a minute. Whew. Okay. Huey! Come on, buddy. Come on. Now where the hell are we? What is this madness? All things begin pure of color okay so that means everything begins white in its lowest form I suppose right okay okay interesting so we have a blue door and what and a red door uh, let's go for the red door Okay, I know red means um, damage and weapons. For the next step, be it red or blue, the answers will make themselves known one by one. Okay. Ooh. Gold. Chamomile. Now gold. Oh. You're headed down the path of the wet method. Of the wet method? Oh, eh? What does that mean? Let's try this door. The wet method. What does that even mean? Right, so that allows us to try again. So we can go red, which is destruction. Or we can go for blue. Can't remember what blue does. I think blue is... White is items for human health. Red is destruction items. I think blue is uh, items for Huey. I mean, that's just for the alchemy. I don't know. If it has any meaning here. One should care not of order that lay... Wait, what? One should, n one should care not of order that ties the colors of red, blue, yellow, green together. English motherfucker. Right. So it doesn't really matter what color we take. <laughs> what do you think, Huey? Should we go? Looks like you've gotten yourself lost, child. So he he comments if we go green. So what is the colour here? Red, blue, yellow, green. Okay, but we... 
Right. Can we restart? I don't think we can restart this now. So where the hell are we now? We're in the yellow door. The colours, like the unique memories of the mind, may only come once in a lifetime. So red, yellow. Nice. Red, yellow. Say blue and then green. I remember now. Blue. Ah, we fucked up, I think. Right, okay. Yeah, we fucked it up. So it was red. Was first. Then blue. I believe. I'm coming for you, Fiona. Yeah, good for you, buddy. It's alright, we can kick a sack or two, don't you worry about it. Ah, oh, I guess we have no choice. So we're going yellow. Because that other door, black door, leads us back. Alright, so now. Oh, he's here. Yeah, so now, ow, we're in yellow. Was it yellow then blue? I don't think so. Go through blue anyway, because this guy is literally up our asshole. No. And he's back again. Of course he is. Shit. Alright. Let's try yellow. Blue, yellow. Okay. Nope. That leads us back here. Okay, this guy is an absolute douchebag. <laughs> Huey, kill him. Tear his fucking neck out. Yeah, don't you kick my dog, I'll kick you. You sack of shit. I um, don't think. I don't know, actually, because we can quite easily stunlock him. The only trouble we have is when he laughs. Utile. Yeah, that really hurts. Okay. Okay. Right. So, what we need is to find that message again. So, what does it say? I have to get away. Yeah, we can't read the bloody information now. It's not yellow we want to go through next. Yeah, very funny, dude. We'll soon see who has the last laugh, my pedigree chum. Now this is going to lead us back to the beginning, isn't it, if we go through this door? Yes. Right, so... We've tried a few different ones now. Um... Right. So we have to mix... Uh, should we... If we tried blue first, we probably have. So let's go blue. I found you. Um. Yeah, don't worry about it, Huey. Don't worry about it. Uh, now, what was this way? This was yellow. So we'll try yellow. I found. You. So we've gone left, left. No, we haven't. We've gone right, right. Um. That's blue. I think we... Yeah, we went yellow-blue before, didn't we? You dick. I think he's gonna be taking our as off by, uh, you know, bending our spine like a balloon animal. That seems to be where this is going. So, green... Right, we've actually made a bit of progress. Can we read this now? No, we cannot read these. That's really silly. Um, the fact that... We can't actually read those information tiles when he's here. Uh, right. So we've been every colour now. We've been yellow. 
what's this side then? Black. Well, we haven't tried black yet, but doesn't black just take us back the way we were? I guess not. Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Kind of a bit obnoxious, but not too bad. I suppose we could go... Oh! Okay. Um, now, I don't know if Huey took any damage, so let's beat him one of those. Good boy. Right, um, let's sort these a minute. Uh, so we've got some... We've got so many medallions, but they're kind of a pain in the ass to use them, I'll be honest. Not a huge fan of the medallion system. Okay, so... Oh! Wait! Right, we're... Okay, so we're in another room that's similar but different. Okay. So what's down here then? What do we have down here, Huey? Is there anything? No. Ooh, well, we've got a fancy little dresser here, which we just can't do anything with. I'm getting the feeling that we can't actually take him out. Unfortunately, because even when he goes down on one knee, uh, it's very right. It's very quick. So that, I guess, is going to link up to the other side where we had the locked door. Uh, okay. That's fine, but... Let's see if... Let's see what's up here, then. If anything. I know there's a flashy flashy over here. And we could... Oh! Oh, wait, there isn't a door there. Yeah, we got refined. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's have a sip of water, eh? I hope this water is pure. Me too. Terrible if it's like poison water or something. Okay. Uh, right, so there's no doors down there, so we only have one option. Well, that makes things... Oh! Useful. Alright, cool. All right, I like this area though. It's very cool. It's very like um, creepy. Feels like we've slipped into the back rooms, but that's fine. All right, come on, Huey. So, oh, you no, 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 no. We don't like these little things. Okay, Huey, help. There you go. Good lad. Good pooch. Right. I think how few and far between the enemies are in this game as well actually helps because less ooh ooh less has certainly been more in this regard right well I'm going to drop a save here guys because we're out of time um, on 28 minutes so when we come back I guess we're going to keep exploring and find trying to find a way out of here if there's a way to defeat Thundercock that's chasing us um <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so is the old man we killed, was that the same guy? Or is there multiple clones? Um, oh, that could be bad. I don't know, because the one that's chasing us now regressed in age, so... Ah. Either way, he needs to be killed in a spectacular fashion and we're just the woman to do it so till next time guys thanks for watching